Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture on software design and architecture. So by now we have been performing the requirement analysis, doing the use case diagrams, looking at the domain models, system sequence diagrams and writing the operation contracts and then looking at how we can architecturally organize all that stuff. So now we are going to proceed towards the dynamicity. So we are going to talk about how we can find, identify and design our objects from the design and then talk about the human interaction diagrams. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about the object design. We are going to talk about static and dynamic modeling. Uh, we are going to talk about the interaction diagrams, mainly sequence and communication diagrams. So let's get started. So for developers, uh, there are three different ways with which they can design the objects. The first one is to code. So they just design while coding. They really do not use the UML and they simply use their mental model to code. So it is an example where you just sit down simply and think of, okay, fine. Uh, there should be a class called uh, book and then you keep on adding the attributes and you keep on adding the methods and you get uh, a class ready. The other way is to draw and then code. So there is a possibility that you are going to draw some UML model on a whiteboard or some tool and then following that model you are going to implement. And the last possibility is you just only draw. So somehow uh, the tool generates everything from the diagrams. So there is a possibility that you just draw your uh, uh, your design, uh, your diagrams and UML models and with the help of these UML mo models uh, there are tools which can generate a lot and lot of code. Okay, so how we can get the objects? As we already have been through the domain model, uh, what we can do is we simply reuse the concepts from the domain model to identify the candidate classes. All we need to do is to add the operations to those concepts and once we add the operations that means that we are close to getting our classes. To identify the operations we can take the help from sequence or communication diagrams. So yes, we are going to work with the sequence and communication diagrams here and then later on uh, the combination of the domain model and sequence diagrams will give us a complete input and information for creating our class. So definitely we will be able to create a class diagram in that case. There are two different types of models uh, which we can see in UML. The first one is dynamic models and the second one is static models. So the dynamic models include the diagrams and models like the sequence diagrams or communication diagrams and they actually represent the interaction. So they help you design the logic, the behavior of the code or the method bodies. Whereas the second type of diagrams and models which are the static ones uh, may include the class diagrams. And the class diagrams help you design the definition of packages, the class names, the attributes of the classes and the method signatures, but not the method bodies. So if you want to get how and what code should you write in the definition or the body of the method, you can take this information from the interaction diagrams. So which means the sequence diagrams, which we are just going to see shortly, will help us identify the body of the methods and then later on we, we are going to identify the uh, the, the, defini uh, the the signatures of the methods. Uh, we must spend significant time doing the interaction diagrams uh, not just the class diagram. So you must make sure that you spend a lot of time enough time while uh, working with the interaction diagrams including the sequence and communication diagram and this is because they are going to help you get your method definitions. So here on your left hand side you can see a static model which is a UML class diagram whereas on the right hand side you can see a dynamic model which is called a UML sequence diagram and what you must notice is that this play method is part of the dice game here in the class diagram. So that's why we are calling this play method on the dice game here in the sequence diagram. Let's understand that better. 
So we must be differentiating between the object design skill versus the UML notation skill. That means that if you know the UML notation very well, but you don't have a very good idea how to design the object, you're not going to succeed. So the fundamental knowledge of object design, it actually requires you to know that the, what are the principles of responsibility assignment and what are different design patterns. So we are going to cover the design patterns in detail in the coming lectures, but here we are going to focus on what are the skills which are required for knowing the UML notation. Another object design technique which is used to identify different classes is called the CRC. CRC is the class responsibility collaboration. So we actually have a card which is called a CRC card and this card is used for brainstorming. So what you do is that on the paper, basically on the cards, you write the class names, responsibilities of the classes. So responsibilities are basically the methods of that class. In fact, they are going to become the methods of that class. And finally, the collaborations. The collaborations are the, the other classes that are actually associated with the originally identified class. This technique is used while you're working with the agile methodology and often this is also seen in the extreme programming. So this here is an example of class responsibility card where you write the class name and you list down all the responsibilities here and after listing down the responsibilities you write the collaborators. So remember the collaborator will include the classes which are interacted with by this class for fulfilling the responsibilities. This shows another example of handwritten CRC cards. So there is no fixed format or template for the cards. All you need to have is the class name, the responsibilities and the collaborators.